Hello, everybody. Um, I'm from the Golf Group, which worked on creating an intelligent scheduled negotiator. Now, the problem is that Part 1A natural science students have to take three subjects which require practicals, and there's always a problem of scheduling these practicals to avoid clashes and to have them at the optimum time. So our problem was to create the optimum timetable given the students and the practicals they take. Scheduling problems are notoriously hard. Um, the problem of scheduling in this case is an NP-complete problem, and the search space is enormous. Consider 600 students, each taking four subjects, each subject having about 10 slots each, which can be picked from. We decided to solve this problem uh, using a genetic algorithm. Uh, we split it down into two parts. First, inputting the data, and then generating an optimum timetable from this data. And we used a database to decouple these two parts, so that the data could be inputted uh, beforehand um, through the web by directors of studies um, and heads of departments. And then the uh, genetic algorithm can be run on the database at a later date. So the user interface was very basic. It allowed directors of studies, heads of departments, and an administrator to add and edit students and subjects. And we wrote this in PHP so that it could be web-based and easily accessible. And we also implemented Raven login uh, so that it matched up with um, other applications used in Cambridge. The genetic algorithm. The ge genetic algorithm has three main parts to it. The first part, the runner, loads Java objects from the database. It then randomly generates a population of timetables and then runs an evolver, which is the next slide, for a preset number of generations on this population. <laughs> it then, at the end, outputs the found optimum timetable onto the screen and back into the database. We implemented the entire genetic algorithm in Java because it was a language which we were all familiar with. The idea of the evolver is for each member of the population, it calculates a fitness. It then orders the members of the population by fitness and then uses elitism to pick <coughs> the best members of the population. Then it uses crossover and mutation techniques on this best uh, subset of the population to create a new generation population, culling off those with suboptimum fitnesses. And whilst it's doing this, our program runs running statistics, so the person running the algorithm can see how well it's doing. And the question is, how do we generate this fitness? Because obviously it's the crux of the issue. Well, calculating fitness. We discovered a number of constraints from different sources, from talking to directors of studies, and from being part 1A students ourselves last year, uh, we knew what was optimum. Um, we then hard-coded, <laughs> we like to think we did anyway, we hard-coded these constraints as constraint objects, and for each potential timetable, we calculated the penalty each constraint cont contributed. Uh, this approach allowing other constraints to be added at a later date. An example of constraints is obviously uh, no two practicals can clash with each other. You can't be in two places at the same time. Uh, you don't want a practical to uh, be overfilled its capacity, and you wouldn't want a practical with only one person in it because that would be quite boring. And so our results. Okay, we've achieved a runtime of under 10 minutes to reach what we feel is an acceptable, uh, acceptable score, acceptable timetable, as there are unavoidable clashes in this system. Uh, because, for example, evolution and behaviour lectures will clash with materials and mineral sciences practicals. So here's an example of results we've had running the system. So you see uh, the fitness improves greatly over time. This was running for about nine minutes. And uh, this is an example of a timetable which we present at the end uh, with lectures in red, practicals in blue. So concluding, our project was a success. It works at the moment with a range of randomly generated test data, but we are confident that it would uh, work with test data when we were given it, uh, real data when we were given it, and we enjoyed our time working on the project, and we've been happy with the results. So thank you very much.